welcome back to the Last Supper Christmas special. We've already met our host, Brenda. I'm hoping to make some <laughs> good friends, like the cat. And our first guest, Marsha. I'm quite suspicious of people who don't like blood. Now let's meet our third guest, PE teacher, Bernie. Um, my name's Bernie. I'm a PE teacher. It's my life. It's what I've always wanted to do. Uh, teaching girls the skills they need to survive in today's society. Self-defence. Always there, shoulder to cry on. Chest to lean against. You know, helping the girls as they uh, develop through that difficult time in puberty into womanhood as they blossom. But any problems they have, family, boyfriends, girlfriends, you know, they can come to me day or night. My door is literally always open. I took it off the hinges. But I'm very involved in the girls, their development, both physical and emotional, and knowing that forevermore there are girls all around this country that have been touched in some way by me. Uh, it's quiet just now, but I tell you, you know, lunch times, play times, after school, it's just teaming with girls. You know, you could throw a net in there and catch one. <laughs> 50! Just taking part to meet some new people, some uh, older people, maybe see how that works. <laughs> Side foot it, don't toe poke it. I can't tell you how many friendship bracelets I've wasted on some of the girls in my class and they've said they'd always be there. And do you know what, they're not. Suddenly boys come along, the police come along, suddenly I'm nothing. It's important to prevent groin strain. Sometimes I make them do this for hours. Sometimes during the school holidays, it becomes a bit difficult, you know, because you don't have enough for a team. But I just do it myself and just pretend that the girls are there and just shout their names in the dark. Jackie! Jackie! It's coming to you, Jackie! Defend! My, my dad, he always wanted a, a son, he always wanted a boy, you know, and I'm trying and, uh, you know, I'm getting there. You know, one day. I'm bringing a number of things to the party, specifically food-wise. Number one, a uh, bread and butter pudding made in the school by the girls. I'm also going to bring a bit of a sense of fun, you know, hopefully we'll get some group activities going. Maybe some twister, something like that later on, so we can really work up a sweat me and the ladies at the dinner party. Do you know, the, the people I, I don't like spending time with, and I'll be absolutely honest with you, is uh, fat people. So someone like maybe Vanessa Feltz or Anne Widdicombe, you know, if they turned up, I'd be like that. Not tonight, Anne. My ideal guest at a dinner party would probably be uh, someone athletic like myself, or somebody like, I don't know, someone from Atomic Kitten. Coming up, we meet our final guest, Recently single, Lynn Smith. It's not that bitter. Not bitter. No one here!